Hey guys, here we are back on Westbridge, a little test, a little test save game. And I just felt like playing with some really big toys, so um, we have a 9620R John Deere with uh, uh, stock rollers. Um, with my 2720 uh, uh, disc ripper. First model I ever built actually is this 2720. As you can see the shanks aren't that great but the mounts are. And frames looking good. Working on a uh, new Tiger Mate 200 uh, 30 I think it's a 32 foot cultivator, 30 or 32, anyways. So this is Raphael's 9560R with a little bit of uh, tweaks to it. Uh, rolling. So basically I tried to uh, win uh, Oliver sent me these parts that someone made. I added a few extra components up to the railing and tried to burn in some uh, uh, actual pitchers and treads. Um, modified the rear a little bit. So I've been watching some Farm Progress um, 15 and this 9620R with the 2730 uh, Ripper is amazing. And then the, I'll turn it down so I can talk, the, uh, uh, what is it, the uh, 9620RX, uh, it's just amazing how that looks with the tracks, and I, I'm more of a, uh, I like the rear tank, um, rear part of the 9620RX. I'm not really sure what the difference is between, you know, why they went with two different rear end styles. I get like you'd want to change like the fender uh, hub uh, for a track versus a wheel, but I mean, the RX looks so much better than this. Like, um, if you ever watch YouTube channels uh, like uh, Big Tractor Power, they have a few of like a 9460R or a uh, 9560R with basically um, skinny row crop tires that would, you know, otherwise look good on the old body style of the 9560, but it just looks so so bad. Um, the only way this tractor, the the big, you know, with this rear, this big bulky rear end, is if it um, has big uh, floater, you know, 800 millimeter tires on it. Anything else, it just kind of looks ridiculous. Other than that, I haven't really seen anything new um, from companies like New Holland. So, I really like um, the uh, OEM real terrain it really makes your 
um, wheels work. For example, on this cultivator, it just really showcases the flex, the flexible capabilities on this. So that's cool. And uh, but man, the rear end of this thing is <laughs> you can't even see out of it. Like I don't even know why they with that style over the RX. The RX, it's nice and lean, it's sloped. Um, better visibility, better looks. So, uh, I guess I'm trying to sell more RXs than the wheeled version. So basically this, is, this has a cap suspension on it and that's about it. Which is a little high, just because my wheels are a little bit higher. It's just the same, you know, 9560R, but different uh, components. The thing is massive, though. one in real life but I can have one in game. She put down her stock rollers, get those engaged. Get rid of her fuel tanks. So we have this one. We have our 500 road track on our planter, and we have this guy, 500 Steiger, oh, so that's quad track. Cultivator runs real nice and flat on this one. The wheels are a little bit lower. This thing looks awesome. But uh, going back to the farm progress, um, they were showcasing um, uh, the, their tillage tools, all the cultivators, they would go from like the 2730, 2720, you know, 875 Ecolo, you know, 13 shank to like uh, cross dominator. Um, and then they would uh, follow up with some smaller, you know, front wheel assist tractors running vertical tillage tools. And like I, I know you're supposed to, you know, those are shallow and fast kind of tillage, but I swear they were going like 15 miles an hour in the field with those tractors. They were just flying. You know, they, they had a rooster tail like it was an outboard motor in the water. It was crazy. So, I'm assuming the whole purpose of the vertical tillage is to size up residue into more manageable chunks and to get like a fluffy, a loafy, basically four or five inch seed bed. I don't know if you had to follow up in the spring with a field cultivator or something to get it more fine, but it's just kind of seeing these tractors fly across the field. I'm not a fan of the 
the stock sound files for these cases. This thing just bounce all over. This is the version 3.2, I think. That I just re uploaded to American Eagle Mining. Basically, all I did was adjusted the raise and lower of the main, the main um, frame so it rides a little bit more level and it's a little bit higher off the ground on the road. Kind of in a red iron obsession lately. But uh, this is essentially Raphael's 500 pack from 13, wheels from 13. Doesn't have anything fancy yet, no suspension. No interactive, no doors, no nothing like that. It's just a big basic tractor. smaller hood so actually comparing the specs of a 2730 versus 2720 um, the frame difference is substantial, but the working width, this is actually a foot wider than that 2730. Uh, but that 2730 is way more aggressive. It's a lot bigger implement. It does a lot more, it does a lot more to the soil. It has more uh, down pressure. Down force, whatever. Uh, it has the ability to like actually adjust your shanks and discs like inside the cab in a matter of seconds so you can make it more aggressive or less aggressive or rip versus disc or less di uh, less rippage based on what kind of if you're running the headlands if you're running on hilltops if you're running it you know you know the trough so I thought that was cool. Otherwise, I imagine you have to get outside and like knock pins loose with a hammer and mallet, you know, your mallet. It probably takes you know a couple hours out of your day to readjust everything.
nice view. Synchronize my hitch with my mouse control, so I'm happy with that. So if I had to hire a worker.
18 and drag up. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy 18. I'm going to make them race up this steep hill. up the stock rollers so Place your bets. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> this thing is just muscling up the hill, leaving this quad track in the dust. Literally. Literally in the dust. It's a good two, three, three at least. <laughs> it's gonna turn around and that's funny. It actually pays to invest in more horsepower. What is this guy doing? Alright. My next plan is to have them I'm actually going to sell some of this stuff so I can... Switch quicker. I'm going to have them go down... speed 
Now we'll see which one can turn faster. It is neck and neck. Who has a tighter radius? Looks like John Deere is falling behind on the turn. Who puts it in first? The alignment, the drop. John Deere is off and out of the gate explosive. There goes Deere pulling away that low end torque. 